Hi! Welcome to GoFlex Traffic YouTube channel, where we post videos about driving and travel. We are a driving school located in Copenhagen, and we teach in both Danish and English. This video in particular is in English to accommodate non-Danish speaking viewers. If you are an international watching this, welcome to Denmark. And welcome to driving in Denmark. If you find this video informative and helpful, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and feel free to share with your friends who may need it too. Disclosure. All content is presented for educational, general reference and informational purposes only. The video is not intended to be a full and exhaustive explanation and guarantee of the driving test route as the test driving routes may be varied by test examiners without prior notice. Welcome and thank you for watching this video and welcome to our channel. Today we have uh, Stella that has requested for a mock test to be in this video. Isn't that true Stella? Ah uh, yeah. So yeah? No. Sort of. <laughs> what do you mean by sort of? You're okay to be filming uh, so, so you can see like uh, how you're doing yeah, for yes, your yeah. uh, future exam, right? Yeah, it's exactly. coming up soon. Yeah. Excellent. When you're, um, when you're going for your test, the examiner will ask you uh, a few questions about yeah. the car's technical that you can always um, check in our other videos. Mm -hmm. I think you prepared a little bit today already, isn't that yeah, true? Yeah, this morning. Just okay, excellent. This yes, one. sounds good. But today I will ask you only uh, one question, okay? And then we will start the driving, um, uh, the driving route itself. All right. Okay. Great. So um, if you're ready, then um, perhaps you can show me the brake fluid and tell me about the uh, requirements for the brake fluid. Yeah. So I open the front from the screen, just like here. Excellent. And uh, now it's open, so and I get off the car. Yeah. Let's go outside. So it's open now. I open it manually. Great. And open the lid here. All right. So from here, this is where the brake fluid is stored. Yeah. And it has the uh, the maximum, maximum mark. and the minimum mark. Right. And I we, shake it, and we I can, can see, it's see the liquid, and it's moving. It's all good. good. Perfect. Uh, wrench. Yeah. yeah, it's good. In in case if, if there was not enough fluid, uh, what is the but is the um, the reason that there is not enough fluid? I guess it's used up. So it, yeah, it's leaking. Oh, it's leaking. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. okay, so good. We have the enough brake fluid here <laughs> between. Yeah, so that's why that should be between minimum and maximum always. So yeah. not something we really use up. Okay. Cool. Ah, okay. Yes, very nice. So I All right. close it, and uh, I should hear the click. Then Great. That's it. that's it. Let's go in. Satisfying answer to technical questions. All right, so that was a very satisfying answer for your technical question. Now we will start the driving itself. You'll be, you'll be driving, and we will take the one of the newest routes that has been recently been driving from one of our other student at GoFlex. Um, and let's see how it goes. And when you're driving, you you must follow the speed limits, okay, and and other signs. You must follow them. If I'm not giving you any uh, direction, it means keep on going straight. Okay. Otherwise, I will let you know in a, in a good time. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Great. Let's get started and then yeah. we will turn left over here. And then to the right. And then up here, we'll turn to the left. Excellent checkup for traffic on both sides due to absolute giveaway duty. In the traffic light, we are turning to the left. Turning left with good verification behind. Okay, the next traffic light to the left.
Excellent completion of left turn maneuver in the junction. Stopping appropriately by the stop line due to the traffic light that is changing to amber. coming up, then we turn to the right. Turning right with good verification behind for cyclists and pedestrians. In this traffic light we will turn to the left. The sun suddenly disappeared, huh? Yeah, still. But, but there is a bright light, so. Yeah, so still too bright for me. Have yeah. to wear sunglasses. <laughs> Indeed, agree. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually easier to see lane markings on a, on a bright sunny day with the shades. Mm -hmm. Without the shades, it's hard to see those white lane markings. They're not always so clear. Let's turn right up here. Excellent checkup for traffic on both sides due to absolute giveaway duty. Verification behind to the left before passing parked car. Bro, we are turning to the right. Approaching giveaway right hand duty, having appropriate speed and excellent verification. Well done, Mafia Alert. <laughs> Approaching giveaway right hand duty, having appropriate speed and excellent verification. Well done Mafia Alert! And then we are turning left up here. The traffic light to the left. Starts turning signal too soon, should have waited until passing the side roads. Just be careful if there is a road, yeah, with the signal. Say it again? Yeah, it's a turn signal, right? So, um, if, if there is a road, uh -huh. then, then wait, yeah, because okay, otherwise yeah. the it's a little misleading for the others. The, car, the other traffic, they will think that you're turning in there if you just start the signal. Yeah, so even the cross, not... Yeah, yeah don't wait don't. until... Mm. You have passed that last road. In the traffic line, we are turning to the right.
Turning right with good verification behind for cyclists and pedestrians. While driving, how will you determine if the road is unconditional give way duty or right hand duty? The level difference or the surface difference. So if there's difference, then they have unconditional duty. But it's good you're still checking, although try not to slow down too much. Slightly reduce speed. The traffic light, we are turning to the left. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but she was also positioning a bit strange, okay. a bit too far out. But you guys managed. You understood each other, I guess. Yeah. Uh, same. You were speaking the same language. By <laughs> <laughs> <Quite> smiling. <laughs> exactly. Good. You did not use any hand signals. No. That's not allowed. The traffic light, we are turning to the right. But what do we do normally when other makes mistakes in the traffic? I wait. Exactly right. So okay. you were going also a little too far, you know, to block for her. So in that... What do you do when mistakes are done by others in traffic? For the left turning woman before, right? So I recommend you to, as you say, wait, take two steps back. When, when other makes mistakes in the traffic, because it will it will happen all the time that others are making mistakes. So anywhere on this road a little further ahead, then we will find a car where you can do a uh, perform a parallel parking backwards parallel parking. Oh no! <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent backwards parallel parking. Nice. Then you can start here. Perfect. Did I just manage? Yes. I... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. A little long processing time, but you managed. Uh, there's no time limit, right? So even I think like that. It's fine to think, yeah. But just don't start if there is coming traffic. Yeah, yeah. I think that was... Uh, Maybe the examiner want to pee or something, you know, then you're maybe annoying him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, take your time, but at the same time, maybe not on purpose yeah. <laughs> to it delay been, it. It has been a while. Yeah. You did well. The next road coming up, we will turn to the left. Here we will turn to the right. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, no wipers um, should be automatic when it's gonna rain a little bit more. If it's going to rain a little bit more. That's why I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. By the way, you just press the button on your in yeah. indicator stick. Uh, on the indicator stick. Oh, yeah, you can just press it if you want. Yeah.
the traffic light coming up, we will turn to the left. Turning left with good verification behind. Changes to yellow, student brakes hard without checking traffic behind on the inside mirror. It is a requirement to check for traffic behind that is too close. If traffic behind is too close it is not safe to brake hard, and it is recommended to pass the yellow light to avoid a collision or an accident. It was green before when you were braking. Yeah, I saw the uh, pedestrian oh, is okay. red, so I predict. But, but remember, uh, you're not a pedestrian now, you're a car <laughs> driver. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, because you ended up coming a little bit over the line. Look. Yeah. yeah, I was and one second too slow. Yeah, so your half of your car is like over there, and be careful with that one. Mm. It's not allowed, okay? So either we stay before the line, we stop, yeah. or we pass the line. I think um, I had time, right, if I have done so, uh, to pass the line. It's not recommended to brake uh, when the light is green. Mm. Slightly reduce speed, yes, but not brake. That will be too much. Mm. Let's go left on the traffic light coming up. Okay, let's follow the sign saying Melmö. Entering highway and driving unnecessarily too slow should drive the maximum speed limit on the entering lane to the highway. Driving unnecessarily too slow on the highway. Bus is overtaking, it normally has a speed limit of 80 km per hour. The bus is overtaking, you should be opposite, right? What is the speed limit for the buses on the highway? Same. Trucks and buses. 110? N normally 80. 80? Yeah, normally, yeah. But then some buses have a restrict other high a little bit higher speeds. Uh, then it was speeding. I, think I it's wasn't that slow. <laughs> I'm humble but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay that I manage venture at the light? Each. No, then you're slowing down the traffic unnecessarily. But we are exiting at the next one. Call uh, this one here, Lough Town, Now, so the rule is that you, when you enter highway, you have you have to reach up with the speed, right? Yeah. Uh, the 110 speed. Okay. Or 130, but I think in Copenhagen area, it's mostly 110. The roundabout, we will exit on the third exit. My favorite. <laughs> Your favorite. Okay, the third. Is this the first? Yeah, this is the first. Confused which lane to choose in the roundabout and ended up driving on both lanes. First. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a to exit roundabout from the wrong lane, not holding back for traffic on the right. Sean had to interfere to avoid a collision. Car. Mm -hmm. This coming another roundabout. Ah, thank you, Sean. Yeah, you're welcome. 
<laughs> thanks to the examiner they take you to, to these places um, if I can make I mean the airport is a nice place but yeah, yeah. if I can make a wish no roundabout no parallel wish. parking third exit in the roundabout <laughs> wrong lane to enter the roundabout. From the wrong lane, tries to go directly to the correct lane without verification. Sean had to interfere to avoid collision. Ooh, there's a car next to you. Yeah, you were going into his lane, do you see it? Yeah, but I also go that way. Was he behind me? He was next to you, not behind you. In your blind spots, that's why we have to check. Is that the second? This is second, yes. Tries to cross a solid line to exit the roundabout, should have waited until the solid line stops. Sean had to interfere to interrupt the maneuver. So that's a full solid line. Um. Over here, and then we will follow the sign saying Castro. stayed on the right most left turning lane. Let's go left and this track right. So we will turn right also where the car is turning to the right. And then on the left we will turn left and then find the parking. You can also just take any of these parking. Um, okay. Yeah, you can choose any. Behind that very nice car. They're very nice. <laughs> it's the white one, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> I agree. Is that your yeah. future car? Yeah. When you get your license? Very soon. Sounds good. All then good? you can secure the car. Yeah. Great. How do you how do you think it went? I don't think I have done well in the roundabout at least. Okay. Yeah. What do you think went wrong in the roundabout? I was too busy, didn't observe. Yeah, there was one time the car yeah, was in your blind the, spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I was like busy at counting the exit. In the same time, I think I should slow down a little bit, observe before I'm turning, something like that. Yeah. yeah, because there was a sign telling you if you are exiting on the, on the third one, mm -hmm. then you have to choose the lane further to the left before entering the roundabout so yeah that's why and then you chose by mistake you chose the right, the right uh, lane the before right entering uh, and then you are trying to go from the right lane directly into the left lane in the roundabout and that's where the, the car okay, was so i was wrong at the beginning I, ideally i should be behind that car exactly and go into that yeah okay, yeah, that okay. Makes sense. yeah. So that will um, normally be uh, one of the more serious mistakes, yeah. okay? Um, but yeah, overall, I, I think this, this video um, can help you in, in the future now to prepare for your... Yeah, hopefully not too much more practice and then you should be going for your, for your test. But it is recommended that you have um, as less as possible as the, for the serious mistakes. Yeah, okay? so, yeah that one. Probably um, maybe practice more on the roundabout. Yes, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you. But uh, we will point out in the, in the video if yeah. there are other things that you should um, take for your consideration also before your test. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, thank you for being in the video. Thank you for All right. having me. Wish her luck. Yay. <laughs> Yay. And thank you guys for, for watching. Um, remember, if you guys like to be on one of these videos, you can comment and then we will see uh, what we can do and to also let you be in the video. So thank you for watching once again and see you next time. Bye bye.